Good morning, everybody. Um, before we uh, launched into this, uh, these further episodes on the decoding the high mind, um, I wanted to just kind of like slow down a bit. And I feel compelled to make this known to whomever is watching these videos. I have no idea. I know there's one person who's, uh, you know, always provides me with good information. Uh, you know, this, this person um, told me about, you know, growing my hair out, uh, encouraged me to do so and gave me good reasons to do so. And this person also shared information about uh, a very wonderful uh, mantra. And um, so I appreciate that. I appreciate you know, information. I'm all about information. Uh, I don't really have an axe to grind about anything like, you know, I'm, you know, but anyway, this message is essentially about the Kali Yuga, the age that we are in right now. Um, I don't like to, you know, get into talking about the end times, apocalypse, um, you know, all these things of revelations. Those are self-fulfilling prophecies that are already well underway. People are they're, they, that's already stuff that's set in motion. Um, you know, I don't necessarily um, feel compelled to share those or to use those types of uh, symbols, you know, the apocalypse, I'm not saying anything against it, um, but I've always resonated more with the, the yugas of the Hindus, the, the, and we are in the Kali Yuga, make no mistake. Where we're at in time right now, um, they're, they're essentially, well, at the onset of the Kali Yuga, there were three modes of, of being, of existing. There was the divine, um, a person who was polarized with the divine energy. There was the middle, sort of just, you know, lukewarm human uh, modality you know, just kind of trying to live their life and just trying to get along and, you know, live through their illusions and, you know, and that's all they, they just take care of themselves or, you know, and then there's the demonic and, you know, and most people kind of fluctuated between those two, you know, extremes that are, are poles, the divine and the demonic. Well, where we're at right now, where we're at in this particular um, timeline, of the Kali Yuga, which is Hindu, it means the dark age, it's the demonic age. You are either polarized at this point, you've either made, there's no lukewarm anymore. You can't, if you're trying to get by as lukewarm, in case you haven't figured out, the de demonic energy, the devil will, is gonna take you, it will harvest you. So um, that's where we're at. And, um, so this, this information and things that, that I'm, you know, that I share these videos and whatever, and the things I read and talk about, and, you know, uh, I'm, I'm just trying to do the best I can in, in the, in the, what I perceive to be is, you know, sharing and trying to testify because right now, whether you're a Christian, whatever, whatever it is you are, you, you know, um, whether you, at this point, you're either divine or demonic. I see it. I see it on Facebook. I see all these, I'm not going to talk about anything particular, but I see the people struggling. The ones that are still trying to live through their human illusion. They're trying to bolster everything about them, 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 them. And, and I mean, that's, and I could be totally misreading it, you know, but I, I see it because at this point, if you're not trying to spread truth and trying to help you know, dispel the darkness, um, you're kind of part of the darkness. It's just the dynamic, whether you realize it or not. At this point at the Kali Yuga, you're either polarized divinely, you know, you've accepted and your mission, your, your divine energies are, you, are demonic. There's no middle ground anymore. And you may be right. I mean, and, and far be it for me to uh, collapse any timelines. But right now, you may be at that point. You know, everybody's 
every every ascension process is unique. It's unique and different for for everybody. So, you know, if anything, you know, if you're kind of if this if, if what I'm saying is resonating with you, um, and and you've been kind of like just trying to on the fence. Well, time to get off the fence. It's either one way or the other. And if you don't polarize, it's gonna. And you're trying to live kind of, you know, the demonic forces are gonna take you. Um, I hope that, you know, so anyway, that being said, I felt compelled to talk about that. Uh, you know, I realize my, I, you know, I still, <laughs> you know, I still deal with uh, my idiosyncrasies and, um, you know, and I get, I get a little wild sometimes. And, you know, I used to live real wild, trust me, but, you know, I don't live like that anymore, but I still have to deal with those energies and that karma and all those kinds of things. So, you know, some of the videos and some of the way I, some of the way I come off or whatever, I, I'm, you know, I, I'm not trying to offend anybody. I'm just, I'm just trying to, you know, um, do something that's worthwhile in this Kali Yuga, the dark age. So, um, but anyway, uh, I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I did want to share a document that I did a whole series of videos on YouTube before my, that channel got banned. Um, and I mean, I went through this entire document, but I think what I might do right now is just skim through it, you know, and then once I get that out of the way and just kind of just stop at some relevant points, it maybe might be some uh, pertinent, actionable intelligence for some people we'll see. So let's just go through this document real quick. <clears throat> Yeah, I did a whole series of videos on this, uh, Halls of the Minty. Um, but this is a, a pretty interesting document as far as it's, um, you know, I just kind of skim through it and it, I'll stop. Because some of this stuff is, you know, it's going down rabbit holes like Admiral Bird's diary. Um, but, you know, this information, this Adam Cad Cadmon is the galaxy name for the human form. This this uh, this information is directly uh, within the narrative of the decoding the high mind document. I mean, it's this this that information from that document. All this is from the high, this is from spirit. This is from this is the legitimate stuff. Okay, and um, so you you'll see some some uh, connectivity, some uh, you know resonance between all this information. But, you know, so, so some of this stuff is, you know, I mean, it's going down rabbit holes, but I mean, it's, if anything, I, I'm wanting to impress upon whomever is watching these videos that we're, we're in spiritual warfare times, but, um, you know, regardless, I don't know, I don't watch the news. I don't, you know, I realize, I mean, you know, what's going on in the Ukraine, that's all the 3D illusion. That's all the 3D sideshow, the third dimension, you know. I'm, you know, I'm doing what I feel is my, where I'm being led on, on this. So, um, but this kind of information to me is what keeps me sane, right? And this is what I dwell on and, and this is what informs my reality. Here's the Akashic Records, Libraries of Akash. This is all real stuff, folks. So, I mean, you know, um, Alchemy, also known as white magic, alchemy is the science of manipulating the universal substance to create or dissolve anything in existence. On dimensions four through nine, nearly everything is made by alchemy. So this is the transmutation. This is, this is what the alchemy is the process of, of choosing, of polarizing to divine or demonic. White magic, all the practices involved in that. It, you know, if you need a new hobby, I recommend getting into these practices. Amenti. I'll read this because this is the name of the document, and quite frankly, I, I like uh, Aminti. So the Halls of Aminti is a school, a stargate, a cosmic energy vortex located in the exact center of the Earth on the astral plane. In the Halls of Aminti, you will find a great assortment of ascended masters and energy beings teaching and tutoring, rising ascending masters who have qualified for training in the Halls of Aminti. Aminti is also the supreme energy vortex of this planet and greatly sustains, upholds, and repairs the planet in every way. Students of Aminti are taught the ultimate mysteries of time, space, alchemy, and the nine dimension. An unascending human cannot enter the halls of Aminti without being destroyed by the much higher vibrational frequency of Aminti. Thus, only the highest ascending humans can enter the halls of Aminti, and this serves as a perfect self-regulating device, which is no accident, 
and perfect self-regulating devices such as this exist throughout all worlds, times, planes, and dimensions of God's universe. All right, so, you know, we have some more stuff we could, we're just going to journey on. Area 51, yes, folks, you know, we're not alone. We have cosmic neighbors. All right, folks, uh, I don't know. Um, Area 51, Armageddon, let me read this because this is pertinent to what I just said, where we're at. Okay, the final battle between the sinister Dark Lodge, Illuminati, secret government alliance, and God's army for control of the earth. God's army will win, and all earthlings who have either rejected or ignored God all their lives will perish in the great battle of Armageddon. Only the most spiritual people will survive the battle of Armageddon because they will have divine protection. And together they will establish the seventh golden age of enlightenment on earth with substantial help and assistance from the Agarthans and the Christed extraterrestrial. So that, let me just say this real quick. You're going to, whether or not you've, where you're at with um, our cosmic neighbors, um, um, Christed extraterrestrials. Okay, there, there's, there's, a, if there's a dynamic taking place with our Illuminati, the Dark Lodge. They're wanting the people that are kind of, you know, like myself, you know. At this point, if you're polarized, you know, I, you're going to, you, your energy, when you encounter, so there's, a, there's something called Project Blue Beam. Be aware that there, there's forces at work that are trying to make it seem like our Christed extraterrestrial, our cosmic neighbors, benevol benevolent cosmic neighbors, you know, they're, they're here to take over the earth. No, they're here to help us, the Christ of extraterrestrials. So to make it simple, if you're polarized to the divine, you, you will automatically, when you encounter a divine being, a Christ of extraterrestrial or someone of the light, you will resonate. They may, it may appear, their physical appearances and all, or something may startle you, but stay centered. As long as you stay centered in your um, solar plexus, your third eye, and, and you're attuned to your energies, like will recognize like. There will be resonance, okay? All is energy. Everything is energy. So good energy and bad energy, divine and demonic. You know, ascended master, one who has successfully passed all challenges since present. So this is all information, you know, it's a lot of it, man. I mean, if anybody that wants this document or whatever, you know, uh, you can leave an uh, email or, or if you, I don't know, if anybody finds this of interest and wants me to go through this document, uh, leave a, a comment or something that's saying it and I can, you know, I can go back and go through it. But I mean, look, man, what was that one? Great Co cosmic avatar. Yeah, that's if you if you have polarized to divine, then you are you are on your way to the avatar status to the you know living so cosmic law, collective laws of God, celestial hosts and lords of karma, although the great white lodge and spiritual hierarchy. So I mean this stuff is all real, folks. I mean, you think this Stephen King just said it, or somebody just cosmic law. Yeah, so anyway, this is great information. It's like I said, I went through this entire document and I made probably like 10 or 12 videos on it. I don't know. And Kali Yuga, here's what I just talked about. So I'm going to read Kali Yuga and the 64 Keys of Enoch, and I'm going to wrap this one up. But Earth makes one 360-degree trip around the galaxy every 25,920 years. The complete cycle is known as a yuga. There are four parts to the yuga, two parts, 180 degrees of ascending consciousness and two parts 160 180 degrees of a descending descending consciousness this cyclic rise and fall of consciousness on earth has been going on since its creation and that explains the rise and fall of great civilizations on earth the kale yuga is the last quadrant of descending consciousness within the yuga the earth is now at the tail end of the kale yuga the biblical name for the kale yuga is the end time the end times will not be the end of earth, but the end of darkness and evil on earth and the dawn of the seventh golden age of enlightenment. All right, and 64 keys of Enoch are 64 ascension keys and special powers that may be requested directly from the prophet and ascended master Enoch. Uh, many of Enoch's children are incarnated here now 
and many of them are members of the 144,000. Requesting the 64 keys does not guarantee that you will get them. You must qualify to receive the 64 keys of Enoch by having enough ascension points and a high enough light quotient to receive them. Those who qualify for the 64 keys of Enoch will receive them via interdimensional brain surgery, which is performed by dozens of God's angels and elementals. The interdimensional brain surgery lasts four to five months and is accompanied by frequent pops and wraps in your walls and ceiling during sleep and near sleep. These pops and wraps are the angels and elementals passing through your walls and ceiling. Surgery is performed when you are asleep or near asleep and stops when you are fully awake. Many experience painful headaches the last month of surgery. This is normal and will go away with surgery's complete. Activation 64 keys is gradual and will vary from person to person. So anyway, um, like I said, this particular document is a gem. There's tons of information, um, but with this video, you know, <clears throat> I mean, yeah, like if you haven't figured it out by now, that's what's going on. You, you know, you're, you're gonna, if you're, um, I, then again, I could be a Looney Tune, uh, but, you know, I, I, when I go out, I, well, I, I rarely go out these days, but when I do go out, which I did go out yesterday, I went down to the local Catholic church and I, um, you know, I go to their food pantry and I get fresh vegetables and I help out a little bit, but I'm telling you every, every, every time I go out, it's the demons are out there and they're looking, you know, they're looking for the, they're looking for the harvest, but you know, um, and so just try to, you know, either, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I'm just trying to help out. So, um, you know, I could be way off base, but then again, uh, I may not be. So anyway, <laughs> namaste, namaskaram.